The comfort promise involves four bundle items. First item is uh, comfort positioning. So ideally, the child on the mom's lap or in a comfortable position in the stretcher or the bed. Uh, the other item is uh, a topical anesthetic cream uh, that is applied 20 minutes prior to the needle-related procedure. The other item is sucrose, which is actually sugar water, which we use in all infants, so from 0 to 12 months. It doesn't work that well in kids older than 12 months, so we use it in the little infants. And uh, the other one is distraction. So again, that's age-related. Uh, it can be a tablet uh, uh, with some games on it for an older child or a video, and uh, books, toys, coloring books for younger children. The emergency department is the place in the hospital where most needle-related procedures are done. More than 70% of those kids undergo a painful procedure and the vast majority of those are needle-related procedures. The Comfort Promise does improve health outcomes for children. Uh, we have some data that, that measures similar to the Comfort Promise which reduce children's distress as they're undergoing painful procedures. Uh, improves uh, in the short term their interaction with the healthcare team. But it also makes parents feel happier, so parents are much more satisfied when their children are less distressed. And finally, it improves nursing morale because it essentially uh, endows nurses with the ability to provide comfort uh, in ways that they may not have been able to do before. So LHSC is unique. We're able to turn these comfort items into uh, medical directives. So that empowers the nurse to be able to institute these without any oversight uh, of a physician or an order from a physician. Most of the time now, it only takes one, maybe two nurses to put in an IV or to get some blood from a child, whereas before, they would have to take multiple nurses to restrain the child. Since we've implemented the Comfort Promise, uh, our compliance is now 70% and it's climbing. And that's compliance with at least one bundle item. The inpatient units are gradually coming on board and we expect their compliance in the first three months to be close to 50 to 60 percent. Just like to thank the Children's Health Foundation uh, for their support of the Comfort Promise. Um, they sponsored a lot of it and uh, are supporting us in every way uh, with their publicity and uh, their ongoing funding of the Comfort Promise.